What's up, Nash Racing fans? This is Ryan Nash for All Authentic Views, and I'm back with another video. So, today's video will be a Chase Ellie's 2017 Little Jesus car, and this car is uh, actually pretty cool. So, uh, I really was not that big of a fan. Uh, I still don't think it's one of Chase Ellie's best schemes that he's had, especially in 2017. But, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a decent one. I think the die cast is actually better than what it looked like on track. As you can see here, Chase Elliott number 24, Mountain Dew, Little Caesars, 2017 SS. And, uh, yeah, so, there we go here, open up the box, and uh, we'll take a look at the car. So, one thing you'll kind of notice as soon as you uh, get into it, is that uh, this car has actually got a pretty nice finish. It's not that uh, standard gloss finish or a matte finish, it's actually got more sparkles in it, so it actually kind of shines. I don't remember that on the real car, I guess, I guess it did have kind of a... Uh, a metallic finish on the actual car, but uh, yeah, definitely unique. So this is one of the few cars that actually do have that kind of sparkly finish. The other one that I can really think of immediately would be uh, David Reagan's number 23 uh, Shriners car from the NASCAR Authentics line. That one had a nice sparkly metallic finish on the car. But uh, yeah, so we'll take a look at it up close. And uh, of course, main title hood sponsor being Little Caesars. Uh, I've actually had Little Caesars quite a few times. Uh, it's a nice college food, I guess you could say, you know, really easy to uh, go up there and pick up a pizza and uh, have it, pretty nice, $5. And uh, yeah, so of course, uh, the Little Caesars on the Chevrolet SS with the 24, two things that are changing in 2018, of course, Chase Light moving to the 9 car and Chevrolet SS moving to the Chevrolet Camaro, but uh, nevertheless, a pretty neat car, I wonder if Little Caesars will sponsor Chase Elliott in uh, future races in 2018, I'm not too sure, but uh Nevertheless, I hope they do, and I do hope that uh, uh, we do get kind of a different scheme. Uh, once again, this one was okay. This one I kind of compared to uh, Chase Elliott's Hooters car. Um, both schemes are kind of similar, but uh, in my opinion, the Hooters car is definitely a better design and uh, really a better color. <laughs> I mean, the uh, the orange in this car, I guess they're going more for like the uh, the color of like cheese and stuff like that. And of course, it matches the uh, the tunic or whatever of Mr. Caesar. So, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at the detail of the actual uh, paint scheme. Of course, you see the orange coming up down here, down the side of the side skirt, and a, a thin black line going along with it. Uh, not lining up perfectly with it, which is uh, pretty cool. It actually kind of gives it nice an accent. But uh, yeah, of course, the orange 24 as well, with a, uh, a thin black accent around that as well. So, uh, you know, of course, with the A pillar spike. And uh, Chase up there on the name rail, or above the A-pillar, and uh, Elliot here on the back, of course. Number 24 up on top, as usual, with Mountain Dew as a, uh, another sponsor there on the side. So, uh, as you can hear, Little Caesars there on the side, right above the Sun Energy logo. So, yep, a couple more contingency sponsors, really not that many, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's what we got in 2017. So... Uh, Napa here on the rear quarter panel really kind of stands out with that kind of blue. It's kind of a color you don't really see. Uh, it kind of just stands out with that color. But, uh, yeah, so there we see Napa there. And, uh, of course, that orange goes up with the side skirts and goes up on the rear quarter panel and onto the back where it goes down below the deck lid and uh, back around to the other side. So on the back here you see win equals free $5 lunch combo of course we have not gotten the $5 lunch combo yet because Chase Elliott has not won yet so uh, hopefully he will get a win before too long of course he is in the chase uh, one of the 16 drivers uh, competing for the uh, the championship hopefully Chase Elliott will go you know a little bit farther than uh, he did last year hopefully I think he did have a stronger run last year but uh, the way the chase is uh, folding up this year I hope uh, it is to his advantage because we have probably about five drivers that I will probably exit the uh, the chase pretty soon due to uh, their win, their surprising win or whatever. I don't believe Austin Dillon will get too far um, and stuff like that. Uh, we have Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman, Casey Kane. Uh, I know there's some other ones in there. But uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., you know, a couple drivers like that that I don't believe they'll go too far. They have had pretty decent seasons this year, but uh, unfortunately... You know, there are some better drivers out there. But, yeah, so I'm hoping for a uh, maybe top eight, final eight for uh, Chase Elliott this year. I think last year he got to top. Uh, did he make it through the 12? I'm sure he made it through the 12, and I don't know if he made it into the eight. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully he can make it just a little bit farther and improve on his last year's uh, best. So, yeah. Of course, the correct rear spoiler on this car 
uh, a change that Lionel Racing made just a little while ago. Um, so that's good to see once again. So, yeah. And, uh, once again, I, w I wouldn't mind seeing this car race maybe one once or twice per year. Really, uh, like I said, it's not one of my favorite schemes, so I would really wouldn't like to see it, you know, too terribly often. Uh, once or twice I can deal with. I think this car was raced at Bristol, I believe. So, uh, I do try to, I do want to try to go to Bristol one year. So, uh, yeah, I think Chase Elliott's done pretty well at Bristol. I think last year he finished, what, second at Bristol both times, I believe. And this year I don't think he did quite as well. I think it was a top ten, but I can't really remember. So, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about the scheme, whether it is one of your favorite schemes or if you like the scheme, if you picked up this car or not. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. And uh, this is NASCAR Authentic Reviews. And stay tuned for some other pictures. Of course, I do have some more NASCAR diecast reviews coming up, including some 124 scale diecast, which I've got to get around to. But, yeah, so uh, make sure you stay tuned to the end for some more close up pictures and uh, some other videos. So, thank you guys for watching. This is NASCAR Authentic Reviews. Signing out. Take care, guys.